Good afternoon, families. Now I'm going to show you how your student will log in using a desktop, a laptop, or an iPad to get into the reading and math platform that we will be using for primary instruction. We will be using the iReady learning system. What your students will be doing is they'll first go to bcsedu.org if they're using a laptop or a computer. If they are using an iPad, they will click on the VCS vPortal app. This is the same way that they get into their Microsoft Teams. This will always be the first step for anything that they do for online learning. If you are on a desktop, remember you're clicking on vPortal. If you're on an iPad, you are clicking on the VCS Portal app. Once you are in there, you will see many apps. This is a student account. You will look into this very first row and you will see digital resources. That is where you will click to get into any reading and math instruction. Then you will click on this link that says I ready. On a desktop and a laptop, it will open up on a new tab. If you're using it on an iPad, it will open up into a separate app. Once you're here, you're going to be choosing the subject that you're working on now. If you're working on reading, you would click reading and you will see that there are lessons pre-designed for you. Some students' screens may look different depending on the level that your student placed on the last diagnostic iReady assessment, it will place your student according to the lesson that would be next. Ms. Williams, myself, I would also be adding in some additional lessons for students. And so some students will have two lessons on their screen like this, and some students may have a third. The first thing that you'll do when you get here is you will click this first. First, you'll do next lesson, and it will tell you a brief overview of what it will look like. After you finish this lesson, it will automatically give you the option to go and work on your closed reading. This will always be some type of a story with a comprehension type question or several questions after. If you have time within the time block provided and you finish the next lesson and the closed reading, Ms. Williams will also be giving you additional work to do in another lesson after that. Let's look at the math. If it's math time, you will not have as many extension lessons. Ms. Williams can also add in some additional lessons here, just like reading. But right now, you're going to start by just doing the next lesson. Okay, that's how you're going to be getting into iReady for reading and math instruction starting Monday, March 30th. Most of the lessons, the primary lessons here, can take anywhere between 34 and 49 minutes. Your time block for reading will be just under an hour. If you finish all the material, you may always read a book or do any kind of other reading activity for that hour block. If you need the whole time to work on your lessons, that is your priority first. Thank you so much.